Hi and welcome to the channel. My name is Tony and in today's video we're going to take a look at some of the other available options in the OpenVPN client configuration file. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please subscribe and remember hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. That being said, let's get started with today's video. Okay, so a few weeks ago, I did a video on setting up an OpenVPN server on a Synology NAS. And in that video, I took you through all of the steps to configuring the OpenVPN server. We downloaded the client configuration profile and then we opened it up. We put in our remote public address so that the client can reach the server. And that's all we did. That's the only thing we did to configure that OpenVPN client configuration file. So today what I want to do is show you how to use some of the other options available in that client configuration file. So we're looking here at the OpenVPN Connect client on my desktop. And here's the profile that we created in that last video. I just simply renamed it to home. And in parentheses, I put split tunnel. And you'll see in a few minutes as we go through this video why I called it split tunnel. But if you remember, when we connected to this profile, or we connected using this profile, I should say. We got a, a certificate error that we were missing a certificate, but you just simply click continue and it will log you in. So now I'm connected to the VPN server back at my other house. What I'm gonna do today is show you how to avoid getting that certificate error and plus a couple of other things. So I have another VPN configuration file here that I downloaded from the server earlier today. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to config this one a little differently than we did the other one. So I'm going to just open it with a text editor. I'll be using text edit on the Mac. And we have to do the same thing that we did last time. We have to change our server IP and put our public server address. So I'm going to use my DDNS as I did last time. And then that was all we did last time. But now I want to show you a few other settings like this one right here, this line right here, this is redirect gateway def one. What this is doing by being commented out is sending only the traffic that's going to the network resources in your home location. That's being sent over the VPN encrypted tunnel. Everything else is going over the public internet. So for example, if you're going to Google or Amazon or any other website, well, that's going out through the existing current public network. But when you go to attempt to access one of your network resources on your other network, then that traffic's being sent through the encrypted tunnel. So what we'll do is simply uncomment that line. And what that does is sends all the traffic through the encrypted tunnel and through your home or business network. Now, why would you do that? Well, if you're in a public Wi-Fi spot like a Starbucks coffee, then you would want to send everything through the encrypted tunnel. So then why would you use a split tunnel? Then well, realistically, if you're on another trusted network, not like a public hotspot or anything like that, but another corporate network in another location, and you just needed to get to your network resources on your other network, then using the split tunnel is fine because accessing the network resources from that trusted network well, that will go through that encrypted tunnel. But then if you needed to surf publicly, like out to Google or something, then it would just go over to public internet and that's fine. So we're going to leave this line uncommented so that this profile will send all the traffic through the encrypted tunnel. And I want to look at this one right here. DHCP option, this is DNS, DNS IP address. So what that's basically saying is, if you're running a local DNS server, and in my case, I am, it's my Synology NAS, then you could put that server's IP address here. And then if you have host names set up like router.yourdomain.com or nas.yourdomain.com, by entering your local DNS server here, you'll be able to access your network resources over the VPN using their host name. So I'm going to uncomment this line and I'm going to add my Synology NAS local DNS server IP address. I'm 
And now when I access the home network through the VPN, I'll be able to use familiar names like router.tonysmeraldi.com or nas.tonysmeraldi.com. And then one more thing I want to show you, if we just skip down to here, underneath auth user pass, if we just add another line and we put client hyphen cert hyphen not hyphen required, If we just add that line right here, client cert not required, that'll prevent that error message from coming up when you attempt to connect. So that's it basically. So we changed our public, you know, we changed our remote server address. We uncommented so that we are creating a full VPN tunnel. So all the traffic will go through the tunnel. We're running a local DNS server, so we've uncommented that line and we put in our local DNS server's IP address. So now we'll be able to access our local host using their host name. And then we added one last thing here. This is client cert not required to prevent that error message from coming up. So I'll go ahead and let's close this configuration. And now let's import that configuration into OpenVPN Connect. So we'll do that by clicking on the plus sign. And we're going to click on file because we want to browse for that file. And it's on my desktop and it's in the folder called OpenVPN. It's right here. And there it is. We're going to say add. And I'll put the username in. I always forget to do that. Now we'll say add. And now you can see we have two profiles. Now I will eventually rename this one home and then full tunnel so I know the difference so that depending on where I'm at, I could use the appropriate profile. But for now, let's go ahead and click on the newly created profile and you, we should get, be able to connect without getting the error message. And then we'll test out some of the other options as well. So I'll put in my password. And you can see we connected right away. We did not get that missing certificate error message. So now that we're connected to the VPN using the new profile, let's go ahead and bring up a web browser. And now let me try to connect to my home NAS. Instead of using the IP address, let me use the friendly host name. And you can see just by using nas.tonysmeraldi.com, gets me over to the sign-in page of my NAS. And remember now, I uncommented the, the line making this also a full tunnel. So that's, that's being enacted as well. So let's disconnect from this profile for a second and just go back to the original profile where I did not uncomment any of the other options and we should get the certificate error. And there's the missing certificate error. So now we've eliminated that in the new profile. So we'll click continue. And now we're in that split tunnel situation. I also did not put in the DNS information for the local DNS server. So technically now, if I refresh this page, you see it says site cannot be reached. I would have to enter, I would have to access this by using the IP address. And there you go. If you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you guys again, as I always do, for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.